Hi Leo, welcome. Let's do a reading for you. And this is for the month of May or whenever you find it and it resonates with you, okay? We're going to get a few oracle cards and then we're going to go straight into the tarot. See what that would like to share. Please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. And you might check your other placements for a more complete picture or if this reading doesn't resonate with you. Here, from the Wisdom of the Oracle, you have happy, happy. Beautiful. So it does look like this month there is going to be something where you're going to be very happy about it. And at the bottom, you have yin. So that is a feminine energy, all right, which is allowing, you know, not going out and taking action, but allowing something to come into you. Most likely happiness. But that's not to say the whole month you need to be in a feminine energy. But it looks like there's at least a part of the month where that does apply. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. You have confidence. Wonderful combination. And at the bottom, you have trust. So, the way I feel that about the trust is twofold. One, you need to trust your intuition. Trust yourself. And there's also the potential that there might be somebody coming into your life, or that's already in there, that you need to trust. Okay? Now let's see what the tarot would like to share. Great start, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see what we have. You have the Page of Pentacles. the Ace of Wands, and the King of Cups. These are past energies. This is current. The Lovers, the Seven of Cups, and the Tower. Very interesting. And future, Four of Wands, beautiful card, Eight of Swords. And the Seven of Swords. And your overall energy. And you. Now how wonderful is that? You're coming out in your own reading. And that is your overall energy. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have Temperance. And this is talking about bringing in balance and harmony. Okay? So let's talk about this for a second. And then we're going to go ahead and clarify in the past, it looks like there was an opportunity that was coming up for you. And it had to do with abundance. Something that was going to help you financially, potentially your career, or something like that. And there looks like a new beginning, something that you were really wanting. And you have the King of Cups. So here's this very in tune energy. Emotionally, you were very together. Something came in that you really wanted. Okay. Current, you have the lovers. And there could easily be a connection between this and the King of Cups. Because that can say that there could be a good romantic relationship. So, it's possible that there was the beginning of that. So this can say a romantic relationship is coming in. But it also an important decision. And if you see right next to it, right in the middle of your reading here, you have the Seven of Cups, which is you needing to make a decision. So these two go very well together. And here you have a tower. So the way I feel about this is that there's a decision that you're needing to make, and it's an important one. And it might be that you bring in an abrupt change 
to help this change, this decision, come to pass. Yeah. So it also, because this is Major Arcana and this is Major Arcana, sandwiching your Seven of Cups, it looks like it is a big decision of some kind. And now the future, you have the Four of Wands, and that is happiness, celebration, joy, the potential of uh, you either buying a home, looking at a home, moving homes, something to do with a home. But it is definitely a celebratory energy. But now here, you're kind of going in the opposite direction. It is where your thoughts have you all tied up. Okay? It's a challenging energy. And here, you have the Seven of Swords. And this can be either you being strategic in how you're going forward, or the potential that there is some deceit going on around you. Which is really interesting because these two cards are so different from the others. Let's clarify and see what we get. But now, your overall energy, it's really a powerful one. It is your energy. Major Arcana, Strength, and Compassion. Okay, let's see what we get for the Page of Pentacles. You have Justice. So, this potential opportunity, it is something that is very fair, where you're bringing in balance, judgment. So it looks like you were wanting to go for this, to make this change, to take this opportunity. But there might have potentially been an argument, but you do have justice. So it looks like everything is going to balance out, or did balance out. Okay, now, the Ace of Wands. Oh, wonderful energy. The Three of Cups, which is happiness, just joy, calmness, being with people that you care about. Now, the Four of Pentacles, this can be where you are bringing in your security, or we're bringing in your security by going ahead and taking that opportunity. You have the lovers twice. So it could bring mention to, again, a romantic relationship. But this can also be the important decision, right? This opportunity. Do you want to take it? Or did you take it? Because here's this balance rising up to this, but yet it could be an argument or negative self-talk. And then there's this happy celebration. But then there is this feeling the need to bring in security. Big decision. Queen of Swords. So the King of Cups is very intuitive and in control of his emotions. And here you have the Queen of Swords who's just wanting the truth. The end to something. Mm -hmm. So you have an ending that has a, you know, or had the potential to be emotional. But it was all about the truth. <laughs> all swords here, right? On top of the King of Cups, who's intuitive. It's all about the emotions, being in control of the emotions. And it's being clarified all by swords. Just wanting the truth which looks like it's bringing in an end to something and taking action going towards what it is that you are wanting. So it looks like in the past you had an opportunity but there is some fluctuation, you know, kind of like a little bit of a roller coaster. Do you take it? Do you not? But it looks like it ends up with the truth creating an end to something and going for what it is that you really wanted and 
communication could have been a big part of this. But remember here, you have the Ace of um, Wands. So definitely going for something you're passionate about. Okay, let's see what's going on currently. Beautiful, the Six of Wands. Victory. Yes, yeah, something turning out very well. Feeling confident, having the support. Being very happy. Yeah, so currently it looks like this important decision, probably from back here, is bringing about happiness and the feeling of being victorious. And look at here, you have the Nine of Pentacles along with your Nine of Cups. So not only being victorious, feeling happy, but also, you know, having this abundance. And here, needing to make a decision. And it looks like the decision you're making is helping you go towards what it is you are truly wanting to bring in this happiness. Six of Pentacles and Balance. Also, what you need to go forward with, with this is going to be provided for you. So it's balance and getting what you need. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, you going for what it is that you're really wanting. And for the tower, a tower is typically an abrupt ending, therefore a new beginning. And here you have the Ace of Wands. And right here is the Ace of Wands as well. So I'm sure they're referencing each other. So it looks like you are bringing in this beginning that you truly want, that you really desire. And it could very well be by you or somebody else's situation, but probably you making this big change. Hmm. Okay. And you have the devil. So there might be a little bit of concern, stress. You know, whenever you create a big change. There's doubt a lot of times. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> okay, no need to worry about if there's any doubt, stresses, concerns, because here you're going for what it is you truly want and you have the sun. So this is the very best card in the deck. If you have any concerns, they're going to be short-lived. Yeah, because you're creating what it is you want. And now in your future, the Four of Wands, you have the Three of Wands. So here's a celebration, potentially something to do with a new home. And here, this is letting you know that what you want is here for you. You have to take the steps to go get it, but it is here. And you have the Star. Same thing. What you want is here for you. You have to, you know, pull the star down to you. And whatever was going on here, you know, what's the doubts or concerns, whatever this is, you're healing from it. Yeah, so you're getting out of the doubt. Now here you have the Five of Cups. So this is going to help you with this as well. The star is going to help you with that Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is looking back on the past and, you know, feeling some grief potentially, some concern about did you do the right thing. But by all this here, it definitely looks like the right thing. Now here, with your Eight of Swords, this is, you know, self, self-talk, negative self-talk or challenging self-talk. You're putting yourself kind of in isolation, you know, taking time out so you can clear this up. Seek the, you know, seek the enlightenment that you need, which is bringing another beginning in. It looks like you're going to be getting out of this challenging energy by going in using your intuition, 
you know, getting quiet, connecting with the spiritual side, whatever it is you need to get the clarity. And it's going to bring in this very peaceful, emotionally content energy. Now here you have the Seven of Swords. So with these cards here, I do believe it's saying that you need to be more strategic or be strategic in how you go forward. And you also have this here as your very last card. So this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Be strategic in how you go forward with this beautiful present energy, okay? King of Cups, same as up here. Be strategic. And the King of Cups is very emotionally intelligent. He feels all his emotions and acts on them, but he does not allow them to, you know, stop him in his tracks. He's in control of it. So use this, this good grasp of your emotions to think practically, to know how to go forward, to have the best benefit possible, okay? And here you have the moon. Now this can say there might be something that you're not seeing. However, if you're needing to be strategic, then that means you're probably well aware of either everything or most things. So this could easily be saying, use your intuition. Now the King of Cups says use your intuition. So that would be twice. Be strategic, use your intuition. Okay, here, looks like you're going to be walking away from a situation where you feel like you've done all you can. It no longer serves you. So you're going forward with what it is that you truly want. And to me, it is this new beginning, this victory, happiness, abundance, you know, making the decision to go forward with that, which is bringing you in this idea, this new beginning, something that you really desire. So I strongly feel like this tower is helping you to get out of the doubt and into the sun's energy. So you're going to be leaving what's well, not serving you to go for your happiness. And you remember over here you have confidence and happy, happy. Here, bringing in balance and harmony with the dash of alchemy. You know, you're creating this. It's a wonderful energy. Now at the bottom of the deck from taking this, you have the Two of Cups, which is an unconditional love for another. And you have a few cards sprinkled throughout here that could talk about a romantic relationship. So this can definitely address a romantic relationship, but it could also be you. I don't feel like it has to be a romantic relationship. An example would be, this could be your spiritual self and this could be your human self coming together, which it looks like in this reading, there's a lot of that going on, coming together to find your happiness and go for it. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the universe would like to share, what advice they have or confirmation. All right. You have the Page of Wands. Now this Page of Wands is the opportunity. Remember, you have the Ace of Wands twice. So this new beginning, something that you really desire, and here you're ready to get it going. You are ready to get this started Fulfill that desire, okay? Beautiful. You have the Ten of Pentacles now. Here you have the Nine. Here you have the Ten. So this is saying this, whatever it is that you are starting, it's going to bring you in abundance, you and those you truly care about. It can also talk about inheritance. It's, a, you know, your roots leaving a legacy. It's wonderful. 
And here, this is kind of backing that up a little bit because this is a card of nostalgia. So it's about your past. And here, you know, this can be about your roots, about your past and future. It can go way back and definitely into the future, like leaving a legacy. And here, card of nostalgia. And you see the butterfly there, that's talking about the transformation. So there can be somebody from your past coming back into your life or potentially a desire, a goal, something you've wanted to do. And both are mentioned in this reading, you know, as a romantic partner potentially and as a desire that you're bringing to the forefront. So either or or both could apply. Oh my gosh, and look what you have here. You have the sun again, so you have the sun times two. So the universe is letting you know, take that opportunity. It's going to bring in great abundance and everything is going to turn out beautifully. And it can be either somebody or something from your past that is a part of this. Okay, an example, you wanted to be, say, an artist when you were a child, but you put it off and did something else. And maybe that desire is coming back strongly, right? Just an example, so you're going to go for it. But whatever this is, it's bringing in beautiful energy. Okay, now let's get maybe a few tea leaf cards to see if they would like to share anything. This could be all the way from tiny things that could happen during this time frame. Uh, confirmation, maybe something larger. Or maybe nothing's going to come out at all. <laughs> we'll see. I take these in two piles because the deck is so large. Well, nothing from this one. Let, oh, sorry, I just bumped the camera. Let's go ahead and give this one a try and see if something comes out for this. All right, we have one. Wealth. Look at that. And it jumped right over onto confidence. And you have a couple of cards about wealth, like right here from the universe. I think this one might have wanted to jump out. I'm not sure. We'll see. Wow. Well, that first pile didn't want really to give us anything, but this one does. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see. Not, yep, another one. Okay. It's funny how they're kind of just jumping all around, isn't it? we got quite a few. All right, let's see what we have. Over here on top of confidence, you have vase, secret admirer, and you have wealth. Now you have quite a few cards throughout here that talks about the potential of a romantic relationship. So this could be confirmation of that. <clears throat> and wealth, which is mentioned in your reading as well. So that's beautiful. Now let's see what we have here. Jug, light-hearted, carefree time. Someone new entering your life. Well, those are beautiful. Okay, let's see what we have here. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Okay, and work, achievement, success. Wow. Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Well, you might keep your eye open for that during this time. Let's see. We have a distant friend is thinking of you, and that landed right here by the nostalgia card. Okay. Broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. And that was over here, where the moon is, and potentially where the Seven of Swords is. So, you might keep your eye open. Mm-hmm. 
if there is a problem in this area in the future, handle it carefully, you know. Look at it, evaluate it, think about it before you act to avoid it being unsuccessful, okay? Here, you also have a short journey. And we have one more here. What do we have? Bridge. Oh, well, not a problem because this was all the way over here to the right. And this is a bridge, a broken bridge, unsuccessful I'll come to a problem. Here you have bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. So, yeah, the way I see this, this is just telling you, if the problem comes up, you know, spend the time and effort and listen to your intuition and use your, you know, queen of swords energy. Get the truth and make the best decisions. And it looks like you are because what could be, you know, you're well informed, so you'll pay attention to it which means you're going to be able to overcome this successfully. Very interesting that these both came out down here. Okay, that's what I have for you. If you like this, please give it a like, share, subscribe, um, leave comments, and let's close this out with the charm. What do we have? Oh, beautiful. You have a butterfly. And this is all about transformation, okay? And right here, remember I mentioned on this card nostalgia, there's a butterfly. But this does look like it is definitely going to be a transformative time for you. And it's going to be quite positive. So thank you so much, and I truly hope this helps. Much love. Bye.